This is an explanation of how Windows computer users at Yale University can download and install their own copy of Mestranova, which is an NMR data processing program. First thing you'll want to do is open a web browser and go to the CBIC website, which is located at cbic.yale.edu. Once there, find the download MNOVA link, which is protected so that only Yale users can access it. So go ahead and enter your Yale Net ID and the associated password. And you'll find a page where you can download several different things. We want to download the Windows version of the program. We're also going to need to download the NMR processing license file. Now this may cause problems depending on how your computer is configured. So one option is to just click on it and you should see what looks something like this. Go ahead and highlight it, hit control C to copy it, and then open up a text program like Notepad and paste it in there with control V and then select File, Save As. And you can name it anything you want, but make sure you save it in a location that you can find later and with a name that you'll recognize later. And it will help you if you change the extension from TXT to LIC. It'll be easier to find later on once you are doing the activation process. So go ahead and save it. Now, the, uh, another option, a different way to save the the file is to right click and select save link as and go ahead and save the the file on your computer this way however beware that some computers seem to try to recognize this file as an xml or an html file and rename it or change it which causes problems so if this method doesn't work try the other method once we have the program and the license file, go ahead and install Mestranova by opening it. This process will take a few minutes. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Select the default settings here and go ahead and install. After it's finished installing, it should give you the option to automatically open MNOVA and run it for the first time. First time you run it, you're going to need to activate the program. When you activate it, you're going to be need to be connected from the Yale network. This means that if you're using wireless, you need to be connected from the Yale Secure wireless network, or you need to be connected to a wired network port on the Yale campus. If you have trouble activating, try connecting either through the VPN or through a different connection setting because this is most likely the problem. Okay, we're going to start the program. Often, first time you run it, it should automatically pop up with the window that will tell you to activate the program. It may take a few minutes here to open the first time. Okay, if it doesn't, another way you can get to the window is to go to Help, Evaluate By, and then you'll see this registration. So yes, we have a license file, so we're going to select Yes. We're going to click Activate. And now we're going to look for that license file that we saved. So I'm going to select this one and click Open. If it asks you this, go ahead and replace it. And it should say that the license file was successfully activated and you need to restart MNOVA. So we'll go ahead and select Finish, close MNOVA, and restart it. If it's working, you should see a lot of toolbars here that will allow you to process and analyze your data. And another way to check whether it's working is you can go to Help and go to License Manager. And you should see the status of the licenses. Don't worry if the prediction or the mass spec or other plugins are not working, but the one you need is the NMR plugin and it should have a green check mark next to it. If it has an X, this means it has not successfully been activated and you need to try the process again. After it's been activated, you can use the program normally.